Yo, what's up? Santa here. Good to have you here. And today we're going to be taking a look at the winners of the Obsidian October contest. This was a contest that took place over October, but they just announced the winner right now. And I just want to talk a bit about this. You know, this is not going to be a tutorial. This is just a bit more of a fun video. We're going to be checking the winners. We're just going to be seeing what the themes are, maybe taking a quick look at the plugins. More than anything, I think it's really cool because this is kind of part of the Obsidian culture, which in my opinion still is one of the top things about Obsidian. The reason why I love it, the reason why you might love it. So I just thought we had some fun and check this out. And yeah, so again, this is not going to be a tutorial. In case you're looking for tutorials, do take a look at my Obsidian course in the description. I'll talk more about it towards the end, but for now, let's just jump into it and let's see who won. In here, we have two categories. We have themes and we have plugins. So these are the judges. I've actually talked to Shetashi. She's amazing, really cool creator. And here are the winners for the, for the theme. So the winner is Primary by Cecilia May. So congratulations, Cecilia. That's really cool. It looks awesome. I'm going to install it right now. All right, so here we are in Obsidian. I'm going to actually go to Appearance and we're going to check the winner theme. And let's take a look. It's called Primary in here in Community Themes. I'm going to use it and install it. Oh, okay. I'm really looking cool. So yeah, let's, let's just, you know, a bit of a review. Okay. I really love the fact that it has these round corners. That's super cool. It's like super round, but very elegant. These toggles look like an iPhone, which is pretty nice. I think with the greenness, really cool. Let's just move around. Oh, wow. Okay. So these ones have alternate colors. Wow. There's a lot of effort put into this. This <laughs> is... It's beautiful. I gotta admit, it's beautiful. Reminds me of chocolate. Reminds me of autumn slash fall, if you're American. <laughs> it's incredible. This is the first time of me installing it. I, I haven't checked it yet. I was saving it for this video and I'm really impressed. These icons on the top, they're just beautiful. My goodness. There's just so many different icons that were custom made for the theme. You can just tell. Wow, look at that. I'm in a demo vault. This is not my real vault, so I, let, let me actually... Let me actually install the calendar, which is one of the plugins that I use the most. Look at this. This is incredible. Install, enable. Look at these buttons. This is amazing. Wow. I think this might be the best theme I've ever seen. Okay. Yeah, we have calendar enabled. I want to see how the calendar looks. Okay. Yeah, that's pretty nice. So this is a test vault. So again, I don't have much information here. The way that these buttons just stick out, there's a bit of a 3D-ness to it and a bit of shadow. Everything's just beautiful. <laughs> it's a handsome theme. It's a very handsome theme. Congratulations to the creator of this. What was it, Cecilia? Cecilia May, you are on fire. Well done. This is outstanding. Beautiful, beautiful work. I'm super impressed. My goodness. <laughs> this is so good. It makes me want to delete the themes that I've created. Wow. Woof. The icons. I mean, it seems like it just worked on so many icons to make it custom made for this theme. Let's just compare real quick to the to the no theme in Obsidian, right? Like just remember these icons in here, you know, like everything in here. And I'm just gonna snap my fingers and it's gonna be on the on the default one. See, look at that, right? Like the icons completely changed. Everything's just like incredible. Like look at these icons right here. I'm gonna snap again and you're gonna see it, okay? See, you know what I mean? It's beautiful. Wow, okay, I'm thoroughly impressed. Let's see what else there is. Like this this theme is just outstanding, it's incredible. It just makes Obsidian so much more beautiful. Okay, so let's take a look at the second place. This is a runner-up uh, for best theme and it's called Sanctum. So let's take a look and we're just gonna go from this one to, to Sanctum, right? And this one is looking very hacker-like. I like it. I mean, it's really, really cool. It just makes me feel like in a terminal, in a computer terminal, and it just feels like what a hacker would use, you know? So I really love it. I think it's incredible. So if you go to settings, let's see. Okay, yeah, so like you see, like these are way more uh, straight corners compared to, to primary, the other theme, and everything just a bit wider, which I mean, I like, it's a different style. What's really interesting about this one is how, how it blurs out everything on the back, you know what I mean? Like everything is blurry here in the back, and I think that's, that's beautiful. That's incredible, I really, really enjoy it. Congratulations to J. Daniel Mourao. I'm assuming you're Portuguese or Brazilian. I hope I'm right, otherwise that's embarrassing. But either way, congratulations, that's incredible. Really cool theme, very hacker-like. Again, like I really love that style. You know, very clean, black and white, very minimalist. I love it, it's really cool. Now we have the second runner-up, so this is like third place. And this one is called Prism. So again, we're gonna snap. There we go. And this is Prism. 
I like it. It keeps a bit of the purpleness of obsidian. Oh, I like I like this effect on the menu right here. That's really cool. Yeah, I just really like how the writing plays, you know, like the, the box where we actually write, that is kind of like its own world. And then the other things like the other sidebars are kind of like complementary, which I like. It just makes the, the experience of writing like here's where the writing is at. And this is the complementary parts of obsidian. Really cool. I like how you kept up the, a bit of like the, the brown. And I also like the fact that you move this to the left. That's a nice touch. I think it's cool. Let's take a look at the settings. That looks interesting. I really love the fact that this is all black and it has like these rounded corners. Yeah, I like it. I mean, very minimalist again, very simple. Even like this sidebar looks really, really cool. And the collapse button. Yeah, well done. Awesome. Congratulations. Really cool. Very nice. Oh, okay. And we have a fourth place apparently. So it's called Bubble Space. Again, let's go back to Obsidian and let's take a look. Wow, that's crazy. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, that's really that's really unique. That's really outdoor as well. I wow, you been, what? These things respond to the mouse, or was it just a coincidence? No, I think it was just a coincidence. That's really unique. I never even thought of a theme having something like that. You know, like an animation. That's so crazy. This gradient on the top. That's unique as well. Like I've never seen something like that. Like there's this was done by someone who really knows their CSS. Who is it by? Emery Candera. That's that's incredible. You are talented. You are definitely talented. Look at this. Everything's like a rainbow. And even when you hover over things, it changes slightly. You know what I mean? <laughs> this is beautiful. I really, really like it. I mean, I don't know if I would use it to be honest, a bit outdoor. I prefer them a bit more minimalist. Like personally, the themes that I use and the ones that I create that are a bit more simple, a bit more minimalist. But like this definitely has some elements that I, I'm, I'm definitely gonna try to incorporate into into my setup for instance this quote right here the block quote that is beautiful and is unique i haven't seen that anywhere else like i said it's, it's very like in your face like it's very unique very very out there but i like it i think it's it's definitely something that i can see a lot of people saying like yep this is my favorite theme really really cool congratulations you put tons of effort into this you can tell awesome well done congratulations to you for this awesome theme okay so it seems like that wraps it up for the themes we're gonna take a quick look into the plugins uh yeah so here's the plugins right and i think that's about it okay so what's interesting about this is that in this year uh, you know this year contest which is now officially known as obsidian october um there wasn't any other categories like like best graph you know or best story which is was something that was there a year ago i don't want to brag but i'm gonna proceed to brag <laughs> last year i participated for the best graph and best story just about like my origin of discovering obsidian and i won i won those ones on 2020 i'm, I'm lying though i didn't win it was second place uh, but i did get some let me see if i, I have them here I want this nice little card from the Obsidian team. Super cool. I love it. And these stickers that I still haven't used anywhere. Maybe I should put them here. <laughs> Either way, yeah, I do have some stickers from last year. But this year, I didn't participate. I wanted to participate. I did submit my theme last year. But this year, I was creating a new theme. But I never got around to wrapping it up. And I didn't submit it on time. So yeah. Either way, like, I'm honestly impressed that the bar has been raised so high this year. Like, this is incredible stuff, you know? And the plugins. Okay, so the plugins is something that I think I'm going to just have to review with more time. If you're actually interested in me making a video about one of these plugins, definitely let me know. But let's at least give them some glory because, of course, they deserve tons of glory. It's just that plugins take a bit more time for learning them. And, you know, you know, right now I just want to keep it like light and it's kind of my reaction on, on these really cool creations. But let's take a look. So Code Mirror. So, yeah, this apparently is a, is a really cool way in which you can, especially for people that use a lot of formulas and math, and this kind of stuff you can visualize this in a box it looks really really cool yeah again if you want me to explore more in depth any of these do let me know but right now i'm just gonna take a quick overview just seeing what's up okay i won't lie i did see what this plugin was about and i don't fully get it to be honest because i never experimented with things like this it's called a fantasy calendar and apparently there's a nap or a tool online let's just take a look yeah here it is so yeah this thing right here right there's something apparently called fantasy calendar which is seems to be like these fictitious ca calendars that people build for either uh you know fictitious stories that they're writing or if you scroll down i was seeing yeah here dnd which is dungeons and dragons where you create kind of your own world but yeah i mean to be honest it's something that takes a bit of getting used to and i honestly don't really know how i would incorporate something like this in in a workflow i really don't know if it's made for people's productivity or just for fiction and fantasy because i just read this thing here i'm fascinated by this it looks beautiful 
but I'm honestly not sure how it works, to be honest. But it does look very aesthetic. So yeah, again, if you do want me to explore these, I definitely see myself getting into this world of fantasy calendars. I think it's really interesting. So yeah, congratulations, Jeremy, for the second place. That's really cool. And of course, to Nothing is Lost, congratulations for winning. That's incredible. Next, we have a grab analysis. So I wish this screenshot said a bit more about it. Well, I mean, it seems like it's, a, it's a, something in the sidebar, right? And in the sidebar, we can see, is it tax? I don't know. I, this is definitely something I would like to explore because I, I don't fully know how this would work, but I'm definitely curious. So congratulations, Skeptical Mystic and Emily. Looks really cool. I definitely want to give this one a try. I'm really curious. I'm really curious how this works. Okay, and this one, I don't know if the title is Vale, like in Spanish, or Vale. I, I have no idea, but either way, Marcus, congratulations for winning this. What is this? Oh, okay, so, I mean, from what I can tell right now, on this sidebar, it seems like it helps you correct and suggest things on how to write better. I'm thinking of something like Grammarly, perhaps that helps you and gives you suggestions on how to structure your sentences better if you're writing. Uh, it looks powerful. I mean, if, if it is like that, and I don't want to assume because I haven't tried it yet, but if it is a Grammarly, I think it really fills in this, this market that has been missing. Like a lot of people that use Grammarly, they want to use that in Obsidian, and there's no current way to do that. Let me fact check that. <laughs> yeah, okay, yeah, there's no plugins for Grammarly. So yeah, there's nothing for Grammarly currently in Obsidian. So this is definitely something that could replace that. And, and that's really cool. So yeah, I definitely see myself using this. I'm definitely gonna install it and play with it. Marcus, congratulations for making it to this awesome list. And here's all the other submissions. So yeah, another creation. So definitely take a look at this link right here. You might discover other themes that you might enjoy or other plugins. So yeah, congratulations to all the winners. <laughs> My voice just cracked. <laughs> congratulations to all the winners. This is really cool. I'm honestly very impressed by the winner of the theme. I think this is kind of like pushing the boundaries of what is possible when you create a theme and this is inspiring. So, so actually, you know, I'd love to know in the comments what theme are you using or what is your favorite theme? I'd love to check it out. Maybe I could make another video reviewing more themes because I think it's something really cool to do. I, I am very heavy into the aesthetics of what people are doing and I definitely want to learn from them as well as, you know, just share it with you and hopefully shed some light on some less known themes even. Like I said at the beginning, this wasn't meant to be a tutorial, but if you are trying to learn Obsidian as a beginner, definitely check out my obsidian course is the best way that you can learn about obsidian and it honestly is the best way that you can support my work thanks to every single one of you that has gotten this course i'm able to do what i do for a living so i'm honestly super grateful and i think you'll really benefit from this if you're starting to learn obsidian you know so definitely take a look if you haven't already and with that said i hope you enjoyed this video and i hope you have a great week see you later bye See ya.